Hello, JNM here with a Blender beginner modeling tutorial. We are going to create a simple table and start with my friend, the default cube, and I will use keyboard shortcuts in this video. We don't need the camera, so I select it and then press the delete key to remove it from the scene. By the way, you can see the keys and the mouse buttons that I'm pressing in the lower right hand corner. Okay, I want to use the cube as a table plate. We can rename this object here in the outliner. Just double click the item or press F2 and then I set the name to table plate. Okay, the first keyboard shortcut that I want to show you is pressing the G key, then you can move around an object. If you want to apply the location, then you press the left mouse button or the enter key and to cancel, I press the escape key. You see at this location, this yellow dot is the origin, the pivot point. And in a moment, I can show you how we can use this. All right, now to change the geometry, we have to switch to edit mode. I just press the tab key to enter this mode, but you can also go to the toolbar to set it explicitly. In this mode, you can select faces, which are polygons, edges, and vertices. Here I'm clicking onto the faces to select them. Because I'm in face selection mode here, you see this in the toolbar. If you want to select multiple faces, hold the control key pressed. When I go to edge selection, I can do the same for edges and also for vertices, points in 3D space. All right, now to turn this cube into a table plate or table top, I select this face and then I will move it upwards to make the object thinner, okay? Again, I press the G key followed by Z because I want to move along the Z axis. And now you see we can move this face and manipulate the geometry of the object. What you can see here is that the pivot point stays as is at the center. So when I go now to object mode and for instance, rotate the object by pressing the R key, it is rotated around the pivot point. But if I want the pivot point again to be at the center of the geometry, I press F3, then search for set origin and select origin to geometry. And when I rotate the object again, it is rotated like that. I want to point this out because we will need this pivot point behavior when we come to modifiers later on. Again, I go to edit mode now and press the A key to select the whole geometry. And at the moment, the tabletop is a square, but I want to scale it a bit along the X axis. Scaling can be done by pressing the S key, but when I press the S key now and move the mouse, the whole object is scaled, but I want to scale along the X axis, so I press escape to cancel and then S followed by X. And now we scale with the constraint to the X axis. Okay, so far, so good. By the way, you can snap the view when you hold the Alt key and the middle mouse button pressed, and then you move the mouse. Here I snap to front autographic. Now tap into object mode again, and then press G followed by Z to move the tabletop just a bit upwards. The next objects that I want to add are the legs. Again, I think we can create the legs pretty good by adding a cube. So I press Shift and A and go to Cube. Of course, this is pretty big, so I want to scale it down. So I tap again into Edit Mode, press S and Scale. This is modeling by eye, there's no measurement, but I think this size can fit for a leg. Now I want this lower face to line up with the center, and this is where we can use snapping to the grid of the viewport. So I have the face selected, then I go here to the snapping options and I want to snap to the grid. So I keep the snapping here to increments. But when I move this selected face now by pressing again G followed by Z and hold the control key to enable snapping, you see we are snapping in these increments, but it is not snapped to the lines of the grid. Anyway, there is an option for this. 
and you also find it here in the settings, it is called Absolute Grid Snap. And now you see when I move the face and hold the control key, it is snapped to the lines of the grid. This is what I wanted and this face, I want to be snapped here to this face of the tabletop. To achieve this, I go again to the settings of the snapping and select Snap to Face. Now, I move this face again of the leg by pressing G followed by Z, hold the control key pressed and here you see it is snapped to this face and I click to apply. Very nice, now the length of the leg is adjusted along the set axis, but I also want to move the leg to a corner of the table. To do this I go to edit mode, that's important because I want the pivot point to stay at the center, I will show you why in a moment. Then I snap the view to bottom autographic, I pressed A to select the whole mesh, the whole geometry, and then I press G to move this geometry to a corner, like here. Okay, now we have one leg for the table, but yeah, a table has four legs, at least this one, so what I want to do is to mirror this leg to the other corners of the table as well. Okay, so go to object mode with the leg selected and then open the tab modifiers. Then I press add modifier and select mirror. And immediately you can see that the leg is mirrored to the x-axis. This is possible because the pivot point is the center for the mirror. And this is why I wanted this pivot point to be at the center. After that, I also select Y in the modifier. And you see the legs are mirrored for the Y-axis as well. Again, the pivot point is the center. Now we have the tabletop and the legs. I can also adjust the name for this new object for the legs. And basically the table is modeled. But I want the edges to look a bit more crisp and nice. So I'm going to add a bevel modifier. So first I select the tabletop, but perhaps it's a bit too thick, so we can go again to the edit mode and select this face and press again G followed by Z and bring it a bit downwards. Okay, and now for the bevel, I select the tabletop in object mode, then go to the modifiers tab and select bevel. Okay, the bevel has an effect for the edges and we need more segments. We just have one segment, I set it to three. All right, and the amount I set to a lower size, like let's say 15 millimeters. And to make it look more clean and smooth, I right click and enable smooth shading. Very nice, and now we do the same for the legs. And that's it, about 8 minutes to turn a cube into a table like this. I recommend to follow along, try to recreate it. If there's something that doesn't work, then just let me know, add your questions to the comments. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter and Facebook. And it would be cool if you support me by becoming a channel member. Thanks for watching this and I see you in the next one here on JNM.